Hello, dear students of grade 7. You are welcome to unit 13. Today, we'll do the exercise of unit 13, dear students. Uh, first of all, look at the picture. Uh, okay, what do you think they can or can do? Why? So, here, so we can see in the first picture. Here, we can see he can win the race. Okay, in the first picture, we can see that he can win the race because he is running fast. In the second picture, and the boy cannot carry this sack, no load. So yeah, we can see he cannot carry the sack. So can means capacity and ability, and can't mean lack of ability, inability. So to express abilities, we use can plus one one. To express inability, we use cannot plus one one. So third picture. So here we can see she can sing us beautiful song. So you know she is she looks very confident. So you can say she can sing a song. And next uh, you can see two boys playing football. So we can see they can play football. So can and can't. Now and there is a song. Uh, uh, any man can claim. Few can find. Any girl can blink. Few can lie. Anyone can promise. Few can raise. Anyone can try, but a few can stay. So here can and can. You know, we we can see that here we can do something okay it's very easy one now a terrifying night that is story so here i'll read out this story you can see look at the picture uh what can you see in the picture so what what do you think the people are doing in the picture okay the people are just sitting around the fire and they are eating something they are talking you can see Okay, what do you think they are? Uh, they are maybe uh, relatives, or uh, you can see. Now, let's read out the story. A terrifying night means frightening night. Terrifying means frightening. Shortly after the war, my brother and I were invited to spend a few days holiday with an uncle. So you can understand. After the war, uh, here the writer uh, says that he. Uh, his brother and the writer, the writer and his brother, they were invited means to spend a few days holiday with an uncle. Their uncle invited them to spend holidays. Okay. He had just returned from abroad. The uncle, the writer's uncle has come back from other world, from abroad, from foreign country. He had rented a cottage in the country. He had rented. He didn't buy, rented. Okay. Okay, then although he rarely spent much time there, I mean he hardly spent, he didn't spend much time there. We understood the reason for this after our arrival. The cottage had no comfortable furniture. The uncle and the writer's uncle, he didn't stay there long. He okay, rarely means very bitterly, okay, uh, hardly spent much time there because the uh, cottage he had bought was not good in was not in good condition here yeah, uh, the cottage had no comfortable furniture many of the windows were broken and the roof leaked making the whole house damp so the, so their uncle didn't live there long next paragraph on our first evening we sat around the fire after supper listening to the stories which our uncle had to tell of his many adventures in distant countries. So their uncle used to tell. The uncle told them the stories about his adventures in many countries where he stayed, where he lived. Uh, so uh, then they start. Uh, he started telling them, I was so tired after the long train journey that I would have preferred to go to bed. The writer wanted to go to bed. Actually, the writer was very tired because of a long journey. But I couldn't bear to miss uh, any of my uncle's exciting stories. Uncle's stories uh, were very exciting, so he forgot his uh, weak uh, tiredness. He was very tired, but he wanted to listen to 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 enjoy uncle's exciting stories. So he didn't go to bed after meal, after dinner. He was just in the middle of the. He was just in the middle of describing a rather terrifying experience when there was a loud crash from the bedroom above. Mm -hmm. So when his, uh, when the, the uncle, when his uncle was telling them, describing very terrifying, you know, very unpleasant, very frightening experience, very very frightening experience. Uh, at the same time, what happened? 
there is a loud crash from the bedroom the the hard loud sound from the bedroom above the one where my brother and i were going to sleep from the same bedroom where they were going to sleep when they were going to pass the night it sounds as if the roof has fallen in okay the sound was just like falling off the roof uh, exclaimed my uncle uncle said that oh it the roof fell down uncle said with a loud laugh uncle was not sad he was laughing okay uh, uncle laughed and said that uh, the roof fell in when we got to the top of the stairs and opened the bedroom door we could see nothing at first because of the thick clouds of dust which filled the room when they heard the sound uh, when they heard the noise they uh, reached with the hurried uh, they went to the stairs and they opened the bedroom door and then they couldn't see anything because there was thick clouds of dust which filled the room when the dust began to clear a strange sight made our eyes then they saw a strange scene there what happened a large part of the ceiling a large part of the ceiling a large part of the ceiling had collapsed so ceiling had collapsed ceiling had fallen falling right on to the pillow of my bed the ceiling fell on near fell on the pillow of the bed near the bedroom i was glad i was also happy that i had stayed up late to listen to my uncle's story otherwise i should strongly have been seriously injured perhaps killed so this is the story the night that night we all slept on the floor of the sitting room down years not wishing to risk our lives by sleeping under a roof which might at any moment collapse on our air so uh, that night they didn't go to sleep in the room they slept just downstairs and because they were uh, they didn't take any risks because the roof had already fallen in and uh, if they had gone there they could have been injured wounded we left for london the very next morning next morning they left that place they would again when they went to london and my uncle gave up his cottage in the country and uncle even un their uncle uh, also left that place uh, this is not the kind of venture we care for okay now these students learn these words and use them in the sentence below see here the first one the road to conal is dangerous but however it is an adventure to travel along the road adventure means great and courageous very journey it's very uh, rickshaw journey rickshaw and pleasant journey adventure okay next one b look the building has collapsed it's very easy collapsed c my sister is studies abroad she is in australia d our grandfather tells us terrifying stories about which is terrifying e the roof of the cottage lakes it makes the cottage damp throughout the rainy season it's very easy now dear students to the correct answer the writer did not go to bed immediately after supper the writer didn't go to bed imme uh, immediately after supper because his uncle made him listen to his stories i'm oh, not sorry this one but, uh, this is better one he wanted to hear all his all his uncle's saying story though so, this is the answer okay okay the students uh, okay the correct answer is that okay so, uh, he wanted to hear all his uncle's exciting stories the writer wanted to hear all his uncle's exciting stories so the writer didn't go to bed immediately after supper second one uh, it was quite clear that the ceiling had fallen in after the dust had begun to clear so uh, the first of all they were confused because the room was full of uh, dust and when the dust was clear okay it is quite clear that the ceiling had fallen in after the dust had begun to clear next one the word leaked in the passage means let the rain in so you know okay? leaked means let the rain in next one the word injured means wounded wounded now uh, answer these following questions uh, had the writer's uncle bought or rented the cottage the writer's uncle he had rented the cottage you can see the writer's uncle had rented the cottage now b why didn't the writer's uncle spend most time in the cottage in his cottage because the cottage was not in good condition there is not uh, there is no furniture 
okay and the road to some uh, windows were broken okay the roof was leaking you can write in this way as well okay dear students i will show you the answer here uh, but uh, easy answer is the cottage was in bad condition you can write in this way but the answer is here the cottage had uh, no comfortable furniture in it many of the windows were broken and the roof leaked making the whole house damp this is the answer this is the answer okay i have underlined i have highlighted the answer or you can write the short answer will uh, can be here uh, because the cottage was not in good condition this is a very short and clear uh, yes for you now see why did the writer not go to sleep because the writer was interested to listen to the stories of his uncle's adventure the writer did not go to sleep because he wanted to enjoy he wanted to listen to the exciting stories of his uncle's adventure now d was the writer's uncle unamused when he heard the loud boy noise yes he was amused okay he laughed so you can see yes he was now e what could have happened to the writer if he had gone to this going to slave earlier so he could have the writer could have been injured if he had gone to sleep earlier because when they were listening when uh, he was uh, just listening to the story the roof of the cottage fell in so you can write in this way he could have been injured if he had gone if he had gone to sleep earlier now yeah why were they afraid to sleep upstairs that night why were they afraid because the roof could collapse when they are here any time and hurt them they were afraid to sleep upstairs that night because they the roof could collapse on their head okay the roof could collapse on their head anytime now last question did the writer's uncle continue living in the cottage no he left the cottage he didn't continue there he also gave up he also left that cottage you can see your students so you can see yeah, uncle also, uncle also gave up his cottage in the cottage. It means he also left the cottage. Uncle also left the cottage. Now, these students uh, will do the exercise, uh, other exercises here. So, here grammar, uh, here could and could not. So, these students, we use can to talk about our present ability. Now here, very easy. So the correct answer. So drive a car is very easy. Can you drive a car? Can he drive a car? You can see question mark. The second one, can the sketch children read it? Yes, uh, they can. Yes, they can. Next one. He when he was child, he couldn't sleep he couldn't sleep he couldn't sleep when you child. d draw well when you were a child draw well when you were a child you could draw sorry could you draw could you draw could you draw well when you were a child this is the right answer now she two kilometers she can swim two kilometers now these students uh, this one let's see Complete these sentences with the words from the bracket. See the students here. So the students, uh, we use because to uh, because and because of are used to talk about region, and we use them to connect. Okay, our region. But here to join region. But here, if there is a noun phrase, a single word. If there is noun after uh, noun, we should use because of. If there is a sentence whole sentence we should use because the first one is we stayed inside because of the stream you know, because of the streams here we stayed inside because of the storm b i wanted to stay longer here since since and because are the same okay since and because are same i wanted to stay longer since i was really enjoying the party it means because i was really enjoying the party now she she hated cats she wasn't happy when her husband were there as as means because 
as she hated cats, she wasn't happy when her husband were three. Now, next one. John didn't go to work uh, because of his illness. Because of. So, dear students, keep in mind, because of is used before noun phrase. And as seen, and because are used before a sentence. I, see. E. I didn't want to leave as near as. Okay? I didn't want to leave as I was having great time. Now, if look at what the suj seems. They were perfect. Since means because they were perfect. Now, G. It was really cold, but I put on my gloves and my hat as it was really cold. As it was really cold. As it was really cold. Next one. We stopped playing tennis the rain because of the rain. Because of the rain here. I. It was all because of her that we. It is all because of her that we got into trouble. It is all because of her. Yeah, because of. Now, J. We had to hurry indoors because because it was raining. We had to hurry indoors because it was raining. Now, K. I'm late because of traffic. I'm late because of the traffic. Uh, yeah. Uh, now, uh, last one. We didn't arrive until 7 o'clock because the traffic was terrible. Traffic was terrible. 